Plastics are everywhere. Humans use them to make a wide range of products specifically because they are so strong, lightweight, and durable. But those same qualities prevent plastics, even compostable ones, from breaking down when they're lost or discarded. As a result, huge quantities are polluting the water, land, and air, and becoming a health concern for all living beings on our planet. But it doesn't have to be this way. Plenty of other species build strong, long-lasting materials that are still able to be broken down into simpler compounds and reused by other organisms in a healthy, regenerative cycle. Learning from the way life breaks down complex molecules, a company called Entropic Materials has found a way to get plastics to degrade rapidly and completely. To see how it works, let's take a closer look. Plastics are made of repeating units of molecules called monomers, which are bonded together to form long, sturdy chains called polymers. Organisms of all kinds produce enzymes that can break down complex molecular chains like these, precisely shaped to fit into the bonds between monomers. They catalyze chemical reactions that unlock the bonds and break the chain back into separate links. Even the plastics humans produce are able to be broken down this way by microbes. But it's a really slow process. The microbes can attack only the surface of the plastics and the polymer chains are bound so tightly together that only a few bonds are exposed for the enzymes to reach. To help things along, humans could add enzymes directly to plastic so they're ready to help break it down when the time comes. But the high heat and pressures of the manufacturing process can damage the sensitive enzymes before they're able to do their work. To overcome this obstacle, Scientists at Entropic Materials have learned from another amazing aspect of how life works. Inside organisms, specialized molecules called chaperone proteins fit together with enzymes to switch them on or move them where they need to be. Entropic Materials mimics this approach to chaperone enzymes through the plastic production process inside protective biodegradable covers. The covers keep the enzymes from breaking when the plastic is melted and extruded to form sheets or other shapes. But they don't keep the enzymes from doing their job when the plastic's useful life has ended. So, when the plastic is exposed to composting conditions with sufficient heat and moisture for enough time, the enzymes effectively eat the plastic from the inside out within hours or days not simply breaking it down into microplastics, but disintegrating it back into simpler molecules. Those molecules can be recaptured and reused to make new plastics or be broken down further by natural microbes in soil or during water treatment. As humans work to replace all base plastics, nature can be our guide revealing ways to help plastics rapidly and fully degrade, bringing us into closer harmony with nature's way of making, breaking, and reusing materials in an ongoing regenerative cycle. <laughs>